in regards to Star Citizen, I just wanted to bring this up about the attitudes that you see within citizens. What do you, what are your guys' opinions? What do you think about uh, the people that are, you're meeting in the Star Citizen community for the most part has it been a good experience or has it been a bad experience? Tell me down below your experiences personally, uh, both positive and negative, because I, I'm very interested in hearing as a content creator, I have the, uh, I would say the privilege to be able to see all comments and, and, you know, like having the, the outlet open, I can easily look at all the different types of comments and get gauge kind of the opinions. And when we, when we start to do videos that, um, talk about theory crafting or ideas or design within the game, because it is not a finished game, what I tend to find is a lot of people will go troll mode and that's, that's a sad thing. And, and I think to myself, like, don't worry, dude, you know, not a lot of people out there like this. Most people are open minded and they want to talk about really fun uh, aspects within the game. Design changes, not people that are closed minded that think, oh, oh, this is just Chris's game. This is going to be exactly the way Chris wants it and nothing else because it's very narrow minded. I, I actually laugh at that. I think to myself that people that think that way really are neither mature enough to understand the actual process of uh, game design or I start to wonder, you know, the age, <laughs> one of the two, but, um, the, the level that he's at, of course, they want feedback. Of course, Chris wants feedback. That would be stupid. That'd be ignorant to think that he wouldn't want feedback. Uh, the feedback will actually have an effect when it comes to game design. People that think otherwise really stupid, dumb stance, uh, and no angle, no angle. So I don't even want to take on arguments like that. It's wasting my time, but I do want to talk about you know, if you look at the way that the spectrum is set up, the way that the, the community, they're, they're creating their community so they can create their own feedback within spectrum. Smart. It's really smart. They're bringing people in, they're filtering the feedback. And I think the loudest people are the ones being heard. Unfortunately, you know, I don't think the people with any other voice has a, have, have a place to feel safe, to voice whatever it is, their opinion. You, you see a lot of people are even starting to get shy on voicing their opinions here on this video and I say fuck that fuck that noise voice your own opinions for whatever it is you know like whatever your opinion is it's a valid opinion uh, but present it in such a way that it's uh, respectable that it's not disrespecting the people that are actually joining the game or in the game or want to make the game more of a success I start to look at people that don't understand that and I think to myself wow these are the loudest people these are the people actually, you know, that we see in the comments. Uh, and and it, it worries me. It worries me because I start to think, well, okay, the game's not going to grow like it should. It should it's not going to have the growth that I want. So it's not going to be a successful game because people like this are, are basically disrespectful. And if you're wondering what comments they are when I'm talking to you and you're like, I don't know what comments you're talking about, DG. Just go on some of the videos. I mean, like you can go on some of these Star Citizen videos and you can see people that are just blatantly like, this is the way it has to be because X, Y, Z. And sure, some things were stated on Across the Verse and factual things were stated. That's great. I always pay attention to that. I'm very factual. I got great websites that are fact checkers. I make sure that everything I say is as factual and up to date as possible. And if it changes, then I'll, you know, I'm, then I make sure that to mention that. Um, and if somebody catches a mistake, they'll say that in the uh, video and I'll say, thanks. Great. Cool. It's whatever YouTube content creator strives for to, to give you the best factual information that they can. Otherwise, what's the point? Uh, but you just have people out there that have this attitude that is just beyond me. And that's kind of the, the whole focus of the video to think about the people that are out there and how they affect the growth of the game. And so again, I would love to hear what you guys have to say on this issue and your personal experiences. And perhaps we'll do another video like this, but I uh, just wanted to get that out there and have a good time with you guys. Super serious discussion mode. <laughs> uh, that's what we do here on the games. Uh, if you appreciate that, subscribe and we will have many more talks on Star Citizen in the future. Uh, it's one of my favorite games and uh, literally the more I play it, the more amazing it gets thanks to the gamers that have donated and given me the opportunity to actually play this game more because you have donated and i was able to buy a new graphics card thank you so much all of you guys who have 
really pitched in and helped out this uh, community to give us these monthly giveaways. You guys are awesome. And this is the positivity that I love to see in a community. This is what I see uh, and what I will continue to focus on. Not the negative. I will focus on the positive and the people that have gotten us to this point and continue to help us grow. Those hardcore motherfuckers that continue to watch these videos, share them, like them. You guys are the reason why I continue this. And uh, I love to be truthful, talk about it, and not worry about you know the the the, you know, the loudest people. The loudest people don't scare me. <laughs> they don't scare me one bit, and they shouldn't scare you either. And I would love to hear what your experiences are with Star Citizen. And if there's anybody that's going to be like uh, troll mongering or hating on the video, great, bring it, because you're just giving me more views. <laughs> and for those of you that are getting trolled, embrace it. <laughs> But thanks, guys. More Star Citizens videos on the way, as per normal. And perhaps on the next video, uh, if we do another one like this, where we just, you know, talk about the truth, what's going on in the game. Not just the factual, but the feels. Because that's really important. And that's one of the reasons why I think I do so good in the in, and get so many views on the videos that I have with Star Citizen. Because I'm talking about the feels, and not just the, you know, beep, beep, boop, boop that uh, you kind of are force spoon fed by everybody. And if you want the beep, beep, boop, boop, that's great. You can get that from a lot of different content producers, but what's the point from watching the content producers when you can get actually get it directly from SIG? When you can get that beep, beep, boop, boop information directly from SIG, I start to wonder myself like, uh, you, do you need to hear somebody else beep, beep, boop, boop? I mean, I've done plenty of beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> on Star Citizen videos and I, I can tell you right now when I'm making it I think to myself this is garbage why even bother producing this because people that are watching this aren't taking the time just to go to the Star Citizen website and uh, look at all the many deep videos that they're making the content that they're producing right now is, is fantastic they, they're actually bringing you factual information like one to two videos a week and keeping you that up to date because there's that much money invested into the game over what are we at 140 million right now correct me if i'm wrong but i'm sure i'm pretty close if you, if you talk about the money that the game has made that alone should tell you that this game is going to be made i always laugh to think about people that are like saying oh this game this game's never going to be made <laughs> You fucking idiot. Like, this game's going to be made. And the money's already there. The money's there. You're delusional if you think that the game's not going to be finished. When? Who knows? <laughs> Soon. TM. Trademark that shit. Soon. <laughs> but the game, nonetheless, will be finished. And, anyhow. I like these talks. I like to be real. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. Subscribe. Tell your friends, watch my other shit, have a good time, enjoy something different, a little bit more highbrow, a little bit more intelligent, a little bit more uh, discussional, I don't know if that's a word, but we'll go with that, then uh, you're on the right channel. <laughs> See you on the next vid, gamers.